When the American auto industry broke down, we all got taken for a ride. That's the tagline for a new documentary about to hit movie theaters nationwide. It details the auto bailout through interviews with the people involved. Jason Colthorpe is live at the premiere in Royal Oak for tonight. Jason, clearly from the tagline of that movie, uh, it's pretty obvious not everybody thinks the bailout was a good thing. Interesting you say, Steve. Uh, if you went by the tagline or even watched the trailer, which has been viewed almost 300,000 times, you would think that the filmmakers here are aiming to slam the bailout as a disaster, but they say that is not the case. In fact, after more than 75 hours of interviews, they say the story they set out to do completely changed by the end. We were all tremendously concerned. Could the American auto company survive? The documentary is called Live Another Day. In it, interviews with dozens of people on the inside of what happened, from former Governor Jennifer Granholm to former Union President Bob King to the auto bosses themselves and even on to the White House. And it's a true inside story because we take you in places where nobody has been. We take you inside the Oval Office where the people were there when President Obama decided to give Chrysler a second chance. We came this close to letting Chrysler go out of business. The more we talked to people, the more we learned and the more the story sort of twisted and turned for us. It did not, we did not plot it out from start to finish and then have it work out that way. That's why people who are convinced the auto bailout was a success or a failure need to keep an open mind before going to the theater. Was the auto bailout a good thing or a bad thing? And one said, oh, it was good. And the other person said, it was bad. We think there's a lot of nuance in between. There's a lot of subtleties in between. And one of the things we try to pull out in this film are those those questions. I think a lot of investors feel that what happened was wrong, maybe illegal. It's not clear. Cer certainly, probably, certainly an interesting movie. A lot of people are going to want to see uh, the screening, by the way, which is for members of the media beginning right now. It'll open nationwide September 16th in select theaters. There are a handful around Metro Detroit that will have it, not including this one. But if you'd like to find out, we put a link to the list on this story. Click on Detroit.com. You can find exactly the closest theater near you. We're live in Royal Oak tonight. Jason Colthorpe, Local 4.